We want to bring you the very latest in the Massachusetts drug lab scandal. More prisoners will be in court today asking to be released until the investigation into the fairness of drug tests is complete. I want to see reporter Andrew Adamson is live in Fall River now with the very latest. Well, this is a pretty big undertaking here we're talking about. More than 4,000 Bristol County cases could be affected by this drug scandal. And here at Fall River Superior Courts, they're hoping to get to about 40 of those cases by the weekend. A new unit with the district attorney's office will begin hearing these cases starting today. The new unit will be headed up by assistant DAs Patrick Bomberg and Robert Kidd. These criminal cases in question involve former chemist Annie Dukin. She's been accused of mishandling drug samples, potentially jeopardizing previously disposed cases. Dukin was already admitted to all has already admitted to altering or faking drug test results. Now thousands of cases are back under the microscope. It's incalculable for the harm that it's done to the uh, integrity of the criminal justice system. Our system, our criminal justice system, there is nothing worse than an unfair, unconstitutional conviction. Now, if convicted, that chemist, Andy Dukin, could face more than 20 years in prison. Live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.